Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So welcome back to this new lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about gathering facts in Ansible. So we are going to basically understand what is the information which is uh, going to be displayed in gathering facts. And we are going to also learn how to use those options effectively with the help of conditions. And then we are going to do some hands on as well. Okay. So these are the things which we are going to cover in this lesson. Now let's open up our demo setup. Here you can see I'm logged into management node and then I have a couple of servers as well. Like this is CentOS 1 and then there is another server which is CentOS 2. So anytime if I'm switching between the screen, you can just see on the tab, uh, it, it will help you to know which screen I am on. Okay, so right now what we are going to do is uh, let's run this uh, setup command. So setup command basically is going to give us information about any target node. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, we are going, going to say Ansible and then we are going to gather the information about some specific uh, server. Okay, so that server IP is 192.168.1.20. Okay, let's say we want to gather information about this server. Uh, now, by the way, this 20 IP address is of this CentOS 1 server. We can also verify that by using hostname hyphen i command. Here you can see this is the IP address of this server. Okay. So what we are trying to do is from our management node, we are going to run or collect the information of, of, of the target server, which is this server. Okay. So Ansible and then we need to provide the IP address. We also need to provide the host file, which has the information of this uh, node okay so the host file which i have is called hosts and then we can do hyphen m and we can specify the command which we want to run so basically uh, when we run ansible playbook behind the scene it calls uh, behind the scene for gather info it calls setup module okay so we are going to run setup module here and let me hit enter so now you can see we have big chunk of information available on our screen now let's try to uh, go on the top and we will try to understand the information which it, it has captured. Okay, so let me scroll up. You can see, I mean, this has lots and lots of information, almost like uh, 300 or 400 lines of information. So here you can see, this is the command or this is, you know, what I ran on the screen and this is what we got. So we got information about the IP address for which we are uh, collecting the information. And then these are the information which we have uh, collected, which is essentially a JSON. Okay, now this JSON can also be used to create uh, some kind of CMDB inventory or probably, you know, creating a website which has all of these information where you can go in and you can see how many servers are available in uh, your environment. You can see the specific information like operating system, IP addresses information about BIOS and, and so many other things. Okay, so if you are creative, there is no limit how you can use this information. So here you can see we have uh, information about IP address of the server, target server. We also have information about the IPv6 address. We also have information about uh, Ansible architecture information. Okay, these are the information which is related to Ansible module itself. Then we have information about date time. We can also use this information again in our playbooks. I'm going to show you that as well. And if you scroll down, we have lots of other information. Uh, here you can see we have information about the device. And also we have information about uh, different partitions like SDA1, SDA2. Also you can see the information like low level information of, of these information. And if you scroll down, you can also see information about uh, operating system. Okay, so here you can see we have Ansible distribution CentOS. So what we are going to do is we will try to use this information in, in our playbook and we will try to print this information. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to uh, print this information. Okay, now if you just keep on scrolling down, you will see there is a lot of information. Uh, for example, you can see information about mount points as well somewhere uh, down. Let me just scroll down here. You can see we have information about mount points. So this is basically essentially telling us information about, you know, what is the disk type we have, how much total space is available, how much is used. So with the help of this information, you can also, um, you can use this information basically in your playbook to, let's say, get, get a report which is going to show you information about utilization percentage of each of the mount points okay so this is how you can just be a little creative you can use this information and create a report like memory utilization report or probably disk utilization report about your target servers 
okay so let's clear the screen and then we are going to use this information in the playbook or generally what i do is you know uh, we ran this command right so what i do is if you want to uh, keep this information you can just redirect it in any of the file for example let's say i want to keep this output in slash tmp slash uh, sys info okay so basically whatever the information which we saw on the screen is going to go into this file let's try this so I hit enter and then this has been completed. Okay, so uh, the output has been basically re redirected to this file. So I'm just going to open up this file and let's do cat and let's put more. Okay, so here you can see this is the information which we were seeing on the screen. Now we have the same information available in the file. So now let's say basically, you know, this is an, this is a dictionary. If, you, if I want to pull any information, for example, let's say if I want information about uh, Ansible all IPv4 addresses, then all I have to do is, I, I don't really need to mention Ansible underscore. I can just mention all underscore IPv4 addresses. And I think somewhere we also had information about uh, operating system so let me just scroll down okay let's say if you want information about host name you can just write host name in the playbook i'm going to show you uh, how to use it okay so these are basically the variables which are available to you from the gather from the gather facts okay uh ansible node name ansible os family okay so let's try to use this os family i'm just exiting from here and clear the screen again so let's first uh, see what we have on the screen okay we don't have much here already available so we are going to create a new file which is going to be called uh, let's call it uh, gather facts example.yml okay and then in this file we are going to write uh, name of the playbook which is uh, sorry name of the play which is going to be let's say called gather uh, facts about servers okay and then we want to now remember one thing uh, if you are gathering facts okay if you are playing with basically the information available uh, through gather facts then you can't really disable gather facts okay because if you disable gather facts those information is not going to be available uh, anyway so i want to run it on let's say i want to run it on centos servers only for the time being and then we are going to say tasks uh, task under task we are just going to write our first uh, task and let me call it uh, show ansible os version or os family okay i think it was called os family then what we are going to do is uh, let's use a task which is debug and under debug i'm going to print a message or we can print a variable which is called ansible yeah let's just print a message for the time being okay so we want to print value of a variable so we need to use curly braces okay you need to use double curly braces and then you need to write uh, os or let's just write ansible os family and then we are going to save it let's try to run it using ansible playbook command we need to provide information of our inventory file which is host file if you are not sure what is the content of this host file, you can watch previous video. In that video, I have detailed everything about this inventory file. We want to run gather facts example. Hopefully it runs fine. Okay. Yeah, it has executed perfectly fine. And we have got information about uh, Ansible OS family, which is Red Hat. Now here you can see this, this task basically ran on two of the CentOS server, which is CentOS 1 and CentOS, C, uh, CentOS 2. And both of those are basically a Red Hat server, right? That's why we got this information. Now what we are going to do is, uh, let's open that file again. We are going to edit this file. And I want to add one more play. I'm just going to copy it here and then we are going to go to new line i'm going to paste it here okay so now what we have is we have two facts available in our uh, sorry we have two plays available in our playbook so let's call it gather facts about uh, let's call it windows servers and then we have one we are going to change the name and gonna call it gather facts about centos servers okay now here in the host we have centos servers for uh, this one i'm just going to change it to uh, windows servers okay so this play is going to target it to run only on centos servers this one is targeted to run on uh, this one is targeted to run on windows servers okay so let's save and exit now i just want to open uh, basically uh, let me do hosts 
okay so this is the information about uh, CentOS servers this is the information about Windows Server. Now one thing I want to do is I want to change this IP address. This IP address is uh, not correct anymore because I am logged into a different network. Okay, so I'm going to edit this file and the correct IP address for Windows Server is 7 not 6. So now let's run this uh, playbook again. So now you can see it executed on Red Hat Server and now it is going to run on Windows Server. Okay. So here you can see when we when we ran this uh, gather facts on Windows Server. So under Ansible OS family, the information we got about operating system is Windows. Okay. So we know we have uh, two Red Hat uh, operating system and then we have one Windows operating system. Now what I can do is uh, let's go to gather facts example let's edit this file and then what we are going to do is uh, now I'm not going to run it on, only on Windows Server okay I'm just going to remove this and then what we are going to do is we are uh, here in the host we are going to put all okay and let's see what happens okay so let me remove it let's get rid of this line as well okay fine uh, let's go ahead and change hosts to all okay and let's run it now so it is going to run fine on CentOS servers but for Windows we are going to get error so I just want to show that error to you okay uh, no fine I mean uh, it ran fine on uh, because we haven't really done anything uh, else in this file okay let me just go ahead and do one thing basically we didn't get any error and the reason why we didn't get, get any error is because Ansible OS family is uh, available for both operating system for example you know whether it is Windows Unix or any other operating system this variable is always going to be available but we have one more variable which is called uh, let me add one more task okay and we are going to call show mount points okay now you know that for unix based system we have mount points but for windows based systems we don't have mount point okay so ideally it should be giving error so that's what we are going to try now and it is called ansible mount points okay uh, debug fine everything looks okay let's save it let's run it I should have cleared the screen before running it anyway okay so now you can see what happened uh, when it executed on Windows Server I mean our first task which is to show Ansible OS family it executed fine on all the three servers uh, but what happened to the other task okay I think we made some mistake while uh, let me clear the screen let's go back okay guys I'm not going to edit it okay I want it you know to be like this so you understand how we troubleshoot you know because we make mistakes and we are going to fix it and then go going to learn okay that's how we do it and that's how you're going to do it in the real world so uh, basically the variable name uh, was called ansible underscore mounts uh, I'm just going to save it okay now and let's run it now so our first task we know is going to run fine on all the three servers so that's fine and now you can see status about the second task okay so what happened is we executed show mount points and what it did is it tried to execute show mount points on this node 192.168.1.7 which is a windows server okay so now on windows servers then the gather facts information which we get we don't have ansible mounts available there okay because of course it's a windows server and we don't have mount points we are probably going to have drive information okay so when it executed these uh, ansible mounts uh, on this uh, operating system which is windows we got the error saying the error was ansible mounts is undefined okay so this variable which we are trying to print is not defined it is not available and that's why we are getting error of variable name is undefined now on the other server which is sent to s1 and the IP address is 192.168.1.20 we got the information about mount points so here you can see we have a mount point uh, which is 
slash boot then we have other mount point which is slash these are the two mount points available here and then again on server 21 also we have uh, mount points we have information about how much what is the block size what is the block total what is the block used now we know it is going to fail on a windows server so what we can do is we can put a condition here i'm going to put a condition which and in order to write conditions we use when so we are going to say when and what i'm going to say is if ansible mounts or not ansible mounts we are going to say if ansible os family is equal to red hat so what we are saying is if ansible os family is equal to red hat then only run this this task okay if it is windows or anything other than red hat it is going to skip it okay so let's save it and run it again hopefully the syntax is correct fine our first task executed perfectly okay and now uh, let me just scroll up you can see in the show mount points we have not got any error okay there is no error and the reason for no error is basically we made a if condition and what we said is uh, you know if the target server's os family is not red hat then just don't run this command okay so here you can see skipping what it did is it it checked it gathered the information from this windows operating system and it then checked os family and from the os family it knew it is not a, a red hat server it is a windows server so it skipped that task okay so now here also in the play recap you can see that on this windows server there is only two tasks which has been executed and one task which has been skipped okay now just a quick recap what are these two tasks we are talking about okay so the uh, first task is gather facts which is going to get executed uh, by default okay so that's task number one and the second task which we are talking about is showing ansible os family so i hope the lesson was helpful and it has helped you uh, do not forget to write in the comment section if you have any query or if you just want to say thanks because this lesson helped you okay see you again in the next video